Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, I'm Mandy from Mandy's Geek Boutique and today I'm going to be doing an acrylic pour. Um, I was in Kmart the other day and I seen these for like six dollars and I thought hmm they're probably crap but let's give them a try and then I thought I might turn on the camera and see how it goes. So here I've got a 10 by 10 canvas or a 25 by 25 centimeter canvas from Target. The, they have a uh, Hunter Studio artistry um, range and so far everything I've tried from that range has been really great. So um, these canvases, they're nice and sturdy, they hold the paint well and yeah I haven't had a problem with them yet. So. I will need about a hundred-ish mils of paint to fill that, to cover the canvas. Um, so I'm just going to pour it in and we'll see how we go. It's such pretty colours. And what there is 75 mils in each tube. Alright. My nails suck at opening these things. There we go, that's the first one. I won't put it in there because I want to keep the skin. All right, so I'll start by adding a little bit of white and then this turquoise. And I'm just going to pour them in and just do a straight dirty pour flip cup today. Um, if it goes nicely, I might try a tree ring. They did have some other colors, but they weren't really my colors. They were like peachy, um, pinky type colors that weren't really all that pink. You know, I like bright colors. I've, um, and yeah, so I actually really wish that there had been a purple in here, in, maybe instead of the blue, maybe a nice dark purple for a little bit of contrast or even a black, but we'll see how this turns out. All right. Oh, that is a very beautiful bright pink. And um, I'm just going to layer these. So some more turquoise, a little more blue, tiny bit of pink. This is probably way more paint than I need. Oh, okay, that is looking amazing. All right, so I just put lips on all of these. And there goes a bauble, sorry about that noise. <laughs> Busy, busy, busy. I probably shouldn't be doing painting today. I should be doing housework and um, working on baubles and cups and orders and things. But when I seen this paint, I just had to try it. Okay, there goes my little shot glass that I used to hold it. I'll be right back. Just make sure that's lined up right so that I can Put it down without any hassles. I just use little um, plastic shot glasses to hold it off my tray so that it drips down nicely. All right, so let's flip this. I just realized that that in the way. Let's do that. Uh, maybe turn that on. Sorry about this, guys. Oh, that might be better. All right, so now I'm going to flip and pop that down. Just let that sit for a few minutes while the paint comes around. 
sorry about the lights today it is really cloudy and my house is dark on the best of days and yeah so today is just not the best day for things all right let's let that sit for a few more seconds let it run down and do its thing and then we'll see if the magic happens Alrighty, fingers crossed, here we go. Oh wow, oh my gosh. That is stunning. And look, we've got some purple, a little bit of purple mixed in there and I was wishing I had some purple. I'm just gonna let that sit in there for by itself for a minute. Oh, I love this, pity that's not gonna stay. I don't know how much of this you guys are seeing, but I'll bring the camera down for a close up after it's finished moving. Alrighty, let's see. Okay, look at that. It's pretty, even the cup. All right, so let's give this a little tilt and see what we come up with. Take it to the ends. Probably should have put gloves on. I always forget to put gloves on when I'm doing messy work. Okay. Oh, I am really, really not great at this. There we go, that's that side covered. Now, I don't have a torch, but I am going to hit this with my heat gun. Oops, I just tipped paint all over myself. So I'm going to hit this with the heat gun and pop some of those air bubbles and see what comes out. And hopefully don't mess up too much of this pretty, pretty... All right. Let's just help that move along a little. There we go, and this last corner. Okay. Just make sure I get my sides. I'm just going to let this sit here for a few minutes while I go and clean up because like I said I just tipped paint all over myself and when I have cleaned up I will come back and we'll do a close-up and see how nice this actually comes out Okay, I've cleaned myself up a little. Now I'm just going to hit this with the heat. Make sure my heat gun is nice and hot. And... that maybe some cells would pop up but it doesn't look like they are and I've got a couple of little ones but not much not great I just got a little air bubble there mm, might be a speck of dust anyway I'm going to leave this to dry and I will come back for a close-up when it's done see you soon <laughs> 